Now that we have a meat already, we're gonna go ahead and step it into the smoker. So we're gonna set our temperature to 225 degrees and we wanna reach an internal temperature of about 195 to 201 degrees internally. For this particular recipe, you wanna set your shoulder roast right in the middle of the, of the smoker, away from any direct heat. Go ahead and set your meat probe right in the middle of this pork butt. You wanna go through the thickest part of the meat and you also wanna have your pork butt fat up away from the heat. You might run into some difficulty once you hit 140 degrees, which is often called the wall. Again, we're gonna to try to get a, a goal of some really nice shredded meat. If we need a little assistance trying to get past the wall, you can go ahead and wrap your meat in some, just some regular foil, and then go ahead and stick your meat probe back in it to help you get the rest of the temperature all the way through. It's the uh, next day after we put in our meat in the smoker. It's been sitting in the smoker for 17 hours. We're just right at 17 hours. We've hit an internal temperature of 195 degrees. Uh, that's normally when I take it out, you can leave it in for an extra five degrees, a 201 if you want it a little bit softer. But let's go ahead and prep this and get it ready for a meal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's very, very tender. We're gonna go put this in some foil. Once we get our pork butt out of the grill, next step we wanna do is let it rest for a while. For this particular recipe, we're gonna let it rest for one hour. We worked really hard on it to get it to a temperature. We're gonna wrap it up really tight in some aluminum foil and just let that internal uh, uh, temperature continue to rise. I'm also gonna wrap this one in a towel and I'm gonna set it inside of a cooler just to keep it uh, a little warmer until we're ready for our meal. All right, we're about to go into our final step of our uh, shoulder roast. We've uh, let it sit on the smoker for about 17 hours and we're gonna get it ready for shredding. If everything went according to plan, it should just fall right apart. Okay, next step, we're just gonna go ahead and shred this. Um, this should just fall apart pretty easily. You can use uh, specialized shredding tools, which we have at North 40. A fork also works really well. Just get used two forks, kind of the same concept how we're gonna do here. If you have any questions about Great Lane, please visit any one of our store locations or north40.com.